What's good, Taurus? We are doing your weekly reading for you and your person. My readings are for Sun, Moon, and Rising. They are general, so if it does not resonate, check out your Moon and your Rising video. Any extra information you'd like to know is in the description box, okay? So, Taurus, what do we have for you and your person? What do we have for Taurus and their person? Universe, spirits, and guides. What do we have for Taurus and their person? Three shuffles. So the mutual energy between the two of you, we have the King of Wands in reversed with the Temperance card right under that. I feel like you're both trying to be patient here with one another. You are definitely both not feeling in your power. There may be some confidence issues. Um, there could be some jealousy issues as well, okay? Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, so your feelings toward this person, if I can pick it up, uh, Taurus is the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Taurus's feelings toward the person they're dealing with. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reversed, the Six of Coins in reversed, and the Queen of Swords in reversed. So you feel like this person is not being truthful. You honestly feel like they're taking advantage of you or they're trying to take advantage of you. Um, if this has been someone you've been dealing with for a long time, you may be dealing, you may feel as though they're trying to get away with things, but acting like they're a different person. Um, you do feel like there's a lot of people involved or you may feel like they're entertaining a third party just with these clarifying cards because you see them as someone not willing to actually put in the work or not willing to step it up. And you do feel like they're not being truthful here with that queen of swords in reversed um yeah you feel like they're not being truthful okay your person's feelings towards you is the three of wands tell me about the three of wands energy tell me about the three of wands energy please with the Empress, Four of Wands, and the Page of Wands in reversed. So your person sees you as someone that is good, okay? Someone that's beautiful, handsome if you're a male, someone that doesn't need anybody, okay? So they do see you as someone that they can grow with, but the problem here is it's almost like they're looking at you like you can be their missing piece. You can be their... Um, what they're looking for, what they're needing to fulfill them. And I feel like they're looking at you as someone that's got it together, someone that's very balanced, very happy, but they feel like you're not communicating with them. And it's almost like they're irritated that you are living in your power in this Empress energy. They're irritated that they know that you can do this without them. And I do feel like they're waiting for some form of communication. They're waiting for some form of change in this relationship or connection. But I feel like in the back of their mind, they know that you're getting, you're getting away from them or you, they know that you don't need them, right? They see you as someone very balanced. You, you got yourself. Like you, you would be fine without anybody and they know that. And that's threatening in a sense, you know? There could be a distance between the two of you as well. Um, okay, so the blockage between the two of you, we have the judgment card in reversed. So I feel like someone has been having a hard time opening up possibly in the past or being honest. I feel like 
there has been someone that has been making a lot of assumptions, a lot of bad judgment calls, maybe making impulsive uh, movements in this in this relationship. Tell me about the judgment energy, please. Tell me about the judgment energy in reverse. The page of swords. Yeah, there has been a very immature energy here. There could have been someone doing a lot of speculation on a situation, thinking they know anything, thinking they got you, when that's not the case. They were they was really misinterpreting this situation. They was handling it in a very immature way, feeling like because they live with you or because they check in on your social media, they know you. No, they don't know you at all. And this caused a lot of, it's not that they don't know you, but they don't realize, I don't think, your true the impact that you can make just as one, you know, and there could have been a lot of assumptions or judgments even made by you in this circumstance, but I feel like it's your, the person you're dealing with making a lot of assumptions about you feeling like they know you when they were handling this in a very immature way, okay? The action you plan on taking, Taurus, is the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're not ready to give in to this situation. You're not ready to be vulnerable. You don't feel like there's enough change happening in this situation. I do feel like you're going to be definitely focusing on your money, on your business, on your stability and foundation. And as far as the, the love that you may have for this person goes, it's like... Let's get one more card. It's just you don't feel like this person's ready or... It's almost insulting to you to try to be vulnerable with this person when there has been maybe this person took advantage of you in the past because you do look at this person as someone that would take advantage of you or they're trying to entertain multiple people. Okay, give me one more card for action towards plans I'm taking with the Ten of Coins. Yeah, Ten of Coins clarified with the Ten of Coins. So you are focusing on your money. I really don't feel like you're entertaining this situation whatsoever. Not that you don't have love for this person, but you don't feel like they've grown up or you don't feel like they've learned some form of lesson. Um, it's like they're trying to play you this the same song and dance and you're just not wanting it, you know? And it's like, no, I'm going to focus on what you can't take away from me, what has no risk right now, and I'm going to thrive and success in the process. You know, um, action your person plans on taking wheel of fortune in reverse. Tell me about the wheel of fortune in reverse. With the four of cups in reverse and the three of coins in reverse. So there's some form of lesson here, Taurus, that your person just didn't learn yet. Or there's there's some form of change that needs to happen that just hasn't happened yet. And it's not allowing the proper communication to happen. It's almost like if you two did communicate, your person would fill your ear with the same BS. They would, you know, they would play the same song and dance. Like, like I said earlier, it's like there's some... There's a lack of change happening with their, this person. The lesson that they need to learn in this situation just hasn't been learned yet. And I do feel it's almost like they're not even allowing themselves to sit in, they're not even allowing themselves to recognize what's being lost or what the consequences are for the way they're acting. It's like not even registering with them because they're looking at things right now in a very surface level type of energy. If this is a relationship, this is someone that says, well, you're living with me, so I don't need to change, you know, or they can talk the, the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And if this is a connection, this is someone that just, they're not scared of the consequences or they don't even completely understand the full consequences to the way they're acting right now. And that's, there's some form of lesson here your person needs to wake up to and they will. There will be some form of karmic lesson for your person, but they're just not getting it yet. Okay. The hidden energies, we do have the five of cups. Um, so tell me about the five of cups energy. It's almost like your person tried to play you somehow or manipulate you somehow. And it didn't work and they're hurt because of it or... 
they don't know what to do. They're blocked. They're blocked now. They're blocked. They don't know what to do. You may be dealing with a, a game player. This is someone that plays everybody, you know, and it's like now that they realize you're not going to fall for the manipulation, they don't, they're like blocked. They, they're not even processing the root, the, the feelings, the why, the reason, you know, tell me about the five of cups energy, please. With the Ten of Wands, so Taurus, I feel there's a lot of there's a lot of stress happening here for you because you do have a lot of regret. And I don't even feel like you're regretting what you're doing now. It's more so I feel a lot of you regret ever giving this person a chance. Um, because the fact that you gave into it possibly at any point in time or fantasized about what it could be like, you hold, held on to that hope, it, it, it puts such a weight on you. And I feel like a lot of you are still carrying that regret or carrying that wound that this person did to you. It's almost like as long as you're holding on to the hope of change or the hope of this person getting their shit together, the more it's going to drag you down. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Because if your person is the one feeling the regret, it's really deep and they probably don't even recognize it just based on the rest of the energies. Okay, most likely Okam is the five of pentacles. Tell me about the five of pentacles, please, for the most likely Okam. The Nine of Swords and the Faith card, which is also the hair font. So I feel like this whole situation, Taurus, is, if anything, pushing you towards spirituality. It's pushing you to see things on a deeper level, from a deeper perspective. It's, it's giving you more knowledge. Um, but I do feel like when it comes to this circumstance, you're going to be spending a lot of time in your head about the situation. And you're gonna feel abandoned. You're gonna feel left out in the cold. It does. It nothing hurts more than investing into something to only get tossed to the curb or emotionally tying yourself to something that doesn't respect that tie, right? And I feel like a lot of you guys may be stuck in your head because it's just there's a lot of regret with ever feeding into it in the first place. But again, whatever the situation was, it is making you stronger spiritually. It's making you make better choices in the long run, okay? What will the, the outcome be for this person? Let's get a card for this person that Taurus is de dealing with. The Queen of Coins. The Five of Cups and the Five of Swords in reverse. So I do feel like this person will eventually come back around wanting stability because that regret or disappointment of how they handled the situation will start to haunt them. Okay, they, they're going to be done with the drama. They're going to be dropping their swords. But at this rate, Taurus, I honestly don't feel like you're going to be open to it. And so be it, right? I, I feel like... I feel like the lesson in this whole situation is teaching your person to grow up in general. And it's also teaching you boundaries and self-respect, self-respect, integrity. Um, it's teaching you how to pull yourself out of something without feeling the need to entertain it or wait for some form of apology. I feel like you're going to let go. And I feel like if, if you're wanting advice, this is about letting go, not feeling the need to get something in return to make yourself feel better because that would require you to still hold on to the situation. Okay, so let's get a Love and Romance Angels card for you. For signs, guys, we have Taurus, Capricorn, strong earth energy in general, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have Leo. Let's get a Love and Romance Angels card for you. We have Religious Factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing. Let's get one more card. 
And we also have soulmate. And it's safe for you to love. So I feel like this person, obviously, like I said, it's your soulmate. Someone that came into your life to teach you a lot of things. To teach you about what your boundaries are. Um, to teach you what really it is you're wanting out of a person, out of a partner. What you're willing to put up with. Right? That's what soulmates are. Soulmates aren't necessarily to live happily ever after with. They're to teach us, make us wiser, and be more prepared for the next round, you know? And I feel like it is safe for you to love, but I feel like most importantly, it's safe for you to love yourself and not be too hard on yourself over whatever this is that happened between you and this person. But you do need to take responsibility for yourself and be able to let go without holding that grudge, without holding that resentment expecting something from this person it's about completely letting go okay so i hope this helped you taurus thank you so much and all the best